Comparison of unlike fractions. So if you have two fractions, 8 over 7 and 11 over 14, how will you understand which one is greater? For like fractions, it was very easy. For like fractions, both the denominators were same. So we had to just check the numerator. And uh, whichever numerator is smaller, we would call it as smaller fraction. Whichever numerator would be greater, we would call it as greater fraction. But in this case, see, if you look at the fractions, it seems very obvious that 11 over 14 is greater, right? Because 8 is less than 11, 7 is less than 14. So this might be the greater number. But this way of thinking is wrong. So if you see an unlike fraction where both the numerators and denominators, especially the denominators are different. In that case, you need to do some steps to understand are the fractions greater than each other or which of the fractions are smaller or greater or are they equal. You have to do some steps. What are those steps? Let us see. Now we have these two fractions. The first thing you need to do is you have to convert them into like fractions. So unlike fractions can be converted into like fractions. How? You have to do the LCM of the denominators. So what are our denominators? We have 7 and 14. So LCM of 7 and 14 is 14 definitely because 14 is a multiple of 7. So now let us take 11 over 14 below 8 over 7 and we are converting them into like fraction. That's why for both the fractions, we are taking the denominator as 14. But the numerator will change. We have to think of 7 times how much is 14. So 7 times 2 is 14. I am multiplying 2 in the denominator with 7. So that will make our denominator 14. But in the numerator, we have to also multiply 2 just like we do in the equivalent fraction. Okay, so we have to make an equivalent fraction of 8 over 7 of which the denominator is 14. So in that case, 8 multiplied by 2, the numerator becomes 16. We have to do same thing for the next fraction also, 11 over 14. So uh, denominator is 14. So how can I get 14? What to multiply with 14 so that we get 14? Definitely we can multiply 1 with 14. Now this 1 will be also multiplied with the numerator. So 11 will be also multiplied with 1 as 14 has been multiplied with 1. So we get 11 as the numerator of our new equivalent fraction. So one equivalent fraction of 8 over 7 is 16 over 14. And one equivalent fraction of 11 over 14 is 11 over 14. So now we have two fractions which are like fractions. The denominators are same. Now we can check the numerators. Okay. So here we can see 16 is the greater number. So definitely the fraction corresponding to 16 over 14 that is 8 over 7 is our greater fraction and not 11 over 14. Now let us see how is it practically possible. We had a fraction 8 over 7. So let us take any shape and let us divide the shape equally into 7 parts. As we know the denominator is the total number of parts. So the denominator is 7. We are dividing it into 7 equal parts. Now, out of these seven parts, our numerator is eight. So we have to use eight parts. So we have seven parts. So we have to use eight parts out of these seven parts. Can we do that? It's not possible. So for using eight parts, we have to take another block. And we have to take one more part from here, which will be our eighth part. And we have to join it here. So then this is the shape of 8 over 7. Now let us talk about 11 over 14. So we have a block and we are dividing it into 14 equal parts. Okay, so just let's count 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we have divided it into 14 equal parts. So definitely each part has become smaller because the number of parts are more. And after that, how many parts we are using out of these 14 parts? We are using 11 parts. So now, if we just remove all these divisions, which block is greater? You can see clearly the 8 over 7 block is greater. So that's why 8 over 7 is our greater fraction. Now, let us see a shortcut. So there was 8 over 7 and 11 over 14. We will do the LCM. LCM of 7 and 14 is 14. And now, 
we will multiply this 14 with the fraction 8 over 7. So, if we multiply it, we will just cancel the denominator with the numerator. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. If you multiply the numerator with the numerator, so 8 multiplied by 2, it gives us 16. Again, we will multiply the LCM, that is 14, with our next fraction, that is 11 over 14. So, denominator, we have 14 times 1 is 14. In this numerator, we have 14 times 1 is 14. 11 multiplied by 1 is 11 and the denominator uh, 1 can be ignored. So, now what we are getting, if we are ignoring the denominators, we are getting 16 and 11. Again, the same thing here, 16 is greater than 11. So, our fraction 8 over 7 will be greater than all the other fractions. That is 11 over 14. Okay, so 8 over 7, 11 over 14, out of these, notice another thing, 8 over 7 is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater and the denominator is smaller. So, I told in a previous video that improper fractions are always greater than 1 as we have visualized in dividing the blocks also that out of 7 parts, we could not take out 8 parts, so we have taken another block. So, that was more than one block. But in case of 11 over 14, it's a proper fraction. It is less than 1. Proper fraction is always less than 1. So, just by seeing these two fractions, we can also say that since 8 over 7 is greater than 1 and 11 over 14 is less than 1, so definitely 8 over 7 is greater than 11 over 14. So, if you have an improper fraction and proper fraction and you are asked to compare them, so even without calculating or doing the LCM, you can just see that the improper fraction is always greater than the proper fraction. Now, can you try some of these yourself? 7 over 12 and 3 over 18. Compare between them. 31 over 2 and 2 over 31. Compare between them. And finally, 11 over 22 and 2 over 4. So, that's all. You can try and write your answer in the comment section.